Hello, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a short sermon clip by using Final Cut Pro. You do not have to use Final Cut Pro. You can use any video software as long as they have the features I'm going to show you. Uh, but you can use the same principles in this lesson. All right, so first I'm using Final Cut Pro and I'm going to make a new project. So I'm going to click on it. And for this one, I'm going to do vertical because that's the phone uh, format, basically. And then you want to do the highest resolution possible. So mine is the 2160 here. And then the rate I do 60 and then I press OK. And then I, I already uploaded the sermon clip or the message here. And I'm going to drag it into my timeline. So I'm going to drag it in. I dragged it into my timeline. And as you can see, it's already here. And this is what it looks like. And this is a very long message. Like it's 30 minutes usually. So I'm going to look through this video and try to find a 15 to 45 second clip. So I found a clip and I already sectioned off the clip and it's about 34 seconds and that's a good area to do. Uh, another thing that I'm trying to do is uh, I see this area where the speaker was not speaking. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna actually just cut this part out. It doesn't really change much, but it just changes the clip in terms of shortening it. And I think I just do it because it does look more polished to me. So like even this little area here where there's no speaking, you can tell. And then I would just listen to it. So you kind of pause there. So I just let that get cut off. I cut this part off. But you want to give some breathing room too. Like I can go obviously to the right to the edge, but I give it a little bit of room. My home prepares my heart to receive King Jesus each year. When we are surrounded. Okay, that looks good. And I go to the end right here. I'm gonna cut that part out. Right, it does something within us. I'll cut that off. Let's go to the beginning. It turns out that I'll bring this up. From what I do here is I like to combine them. So I just highlight all of them and I do a new compound clip. And then now just one clip together. A couple of things you can do here is you can polish it up. Like you can edit it with more contrast and uh, you can add more uh, audio to it or increase the audio for it. Uh, mine's okay, so I'm not gonna do that, but just to keep in mind that you can polish up the video. Uh, so from here on out, I mean, you can actually just publish it like this because it is the right dimension, but we can polish it up more. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a background because it's just black. So I got this from a website called Envato. That's just one of the websites you can use. It doesn't matter, you can make your own. I mean, there are a lot of defaults in here as well in Final Cut Pro. I mean, I, I can just go to backgrounds and I can just easily add one of these in here. And so I'll put a link in the description below if you want to look through the other background videos. And then so I'm going to extend this. And I can't extend this. I have to actually just duplicate it. I'm going to cut this piece off, make sure it's cut off. Otherwise, it might go to the very end. I'm gonna combine this now. And it looks like it's still not there because it's just a video format or the rectangle version. So I'm gonna extend it. And now what I did here, I basically just turned it. So it's vertical and then I extended it. Now the reason why I'm doing this is you can just do it this way, but the quality might diminish because you are stretching it quite a bit. I mean, this looks okay, but I like to do a vertical just to like conserve the quality so try to center it if you like you can even duplicate this like you can do it in four pieces like you can do it this way if you want be more artistic with it like this or two pieces as well and then I'll and then right here on the timeline I'll bring it here like this so you can do that as well so it looks like one piece and then from here on out I'm gonna actually try to shape this video here. So let's see what I can do here. So I'm gonna crop it first because it's not exactly how I want it. So I'm gonna just try to go to speaker. And another thing for this one is the speaker's not moving, which is great. So I, I can just focus in on this area. Okay, so it looks good to me. So then now I'm gonna center this and then I can stretch it out. Now you wanna be very careful with the stretching. If you stretch it too much, it starts to lower the quality. So I'll stretch it just enough or the quality is not diminishing as much. Now you can see the background again, so make sure that's fixed. Okay, so to shape this, you're gonna click on this, and then now you're gonna pick a shape. And what I do, I go to elements, and there's a shape right here, and I drag it to the timeline. And then this is pretty much where it's gonna be masked in, or it'll be baked in. 
So basically, whatever's on the edge here, uh, the video will not show. So you gotta make sure that this shape is actually big enough. So I'll show you. So I wanna do a circle, right? So it's gonna be big. And I try to extend it as much as possible. So here, what I'll do is go to this button right here. And uh, it's this blend mode, I believe, and stencil alpha. And as you can see that whatever was shown in the video, it'll be in this shape. All right, so you're wondering, okay, well, I see the background, so I don't like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually extend the video out. And you gotta be kind of careful on this part because you don't wanna make, you wanna make sure like the speaker's still in there somehow. So that looks good to me. All right, so that looks pretty good. But you're wondering, wait, the background's gone. So we, we, what you have to do is actually combine it to a new compound clip and then everything comes back. We're gonna actually use a different software at this point because we wanna put some captions on there as well. Now I do wanna remind everybody, you do not have to actually put captions. You could just put the title and just put the person's name or not put anything at all, but we just wanna polish it up a little bit. So I'm gonna export this and then we're gonna use a different software. All right, so as you can see, I'm in a different software now and this is called CapCut. It's free, you can just go on the website and download it. And there is a pro version, but I only use a free version. All right, so what you're gonna do is make sure that your media is in there, so just upload it. All right, so my media is in here, which is the video we just did. And uh, CapCut's great because there's this auto generation for the for the caption mode and that's why I'm using it. And so we're gonna go to this thing called text right here on the top and as you can see right here it says auto captions and this is where the magic happens. So I'm gonna press create. And as you can see on the timeline, it just created all of this uh, caption right here. So what you're gonna do is press spacebar and then I'm gonna look through it if it's correct. So I think everything looked correct. Now there's a couple things that I did not like. So I'm gonna just highlight this to make sure and then I'm gonna lower this so it doesn't get in the way of this frame here. I'm gonna actually bold this. And you can actually choose a different font. I like sans serif fonts. Okay, I chose railway. Uh, the font looks kind of small, so I'm gonna increase it. Again, you wanna just lower that and you just wanna look through it to see if, if it's correct. It looks like it's correct. All right, and then now uh, what you can do, you can color it too, I believe. So you can go to color, you can do any color you like. So you can do yellow. Yellow seems to stick out a lot. White's good too for just default. And I just increased the font again to 16. It seems a little better. Uh, you can decorate it more here as well. You can add a background, uh, but for this one, I'm not gonna do anything. And um, you can add a stroke if you like, but I'm gonna turn that one off as well. But feel free to just play around with this area right here. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do and you can get lost in it. Uh, shadow's really good, it kind of pops out here as well. So I'm just gonna actually leave that one on. So that one's good. And then now you just wanna put the speaker's name. And again, you don't have to, or you can put the title, but I just like to put something on the top area. Another thing you can do is you can just put this in Instagram and then there are like uh, illustrations or like those jiffies that you can use in there as well that's baked inside the Instagram app. Uh, but again, it, these are all like optional things you can do. But for now, just to make it simple, I'm gonna put a text. So on the left side, there's this thing called add text. Simple enough, we just drag it in, extend it, okay? And we're gonna put his name. I put Pastor Matt Robbins, because that's his name. Now I wanna make sure this one's yellow, because that's the font I used. I wanna just mimic what I use for that, this font right here. I'm gonna add a shadow. And again, you do not have to make it uniform. You can do any kind of font you want. You can do any kind of color you want, but just to make it simple for this video, I'm just using it. I'm gonna bold it, maybe make it 16, if not bigger, and that's it. And that's pretty much done. Now, the thing you gotta remember too is uh, sometimes uh, people's phones, it will actually kind of be a little bit uh, cut off on the sides here. And I'm using my mouse as an illustration, like it might be like actually a little bit more inside. And the reason I mention this is because uh, you don't want your text too big, like from the edge to edge on the sides because the text might actually be way too close to the side where people can't read it. So I think for this one, I actually will shrink it a little bit and this one too, to 14, just to be on the safe side. Even though it does look a little small here, 
but when you actually put it on the phone inside the app, it might actually be cut off with the bleed. All right, so it looks finished. I think I like it, and then I'm just gonna upload it to my social media posts. It turns out that preparing my home prepares my heart to receive King Jesus each year. When we are surrounded by symbols of God's love for us, God's sacrifice for us, Christ's promised return to make all things new and right, it does something within us. The hope is that these external signs will start to produce an internal reality that we will come to display hope, peace, joy, and love of Christ in our lives.